How's it going everyone? Welcome back to some more FIFA 21 content with our Sunderland Wonder Girl series that's going extraordinarily badly so far. Sorry, if I am if I start doing this, um, my mic's up here. I'm just getting used to it being in a different place. Um, <laughs> let's, uh, we've got Brentford in the Carabao Cup. Let's see how it goes. So we are playing the B team. Um, really not sure how this is going to go. Obviously, Brentford are a championship side and a good one at that. So this might not go according to plan. Oh, it's a huge tackle. Well done. Who was that? That was our, like, 45 rated kid. Yo, he is destined for something special. It's such a shame he's rated so low. I feel like he's doing really well as a centre-back, but I feel like we do need him to be doing something else. Dobson is well offside there. And, yeah, I completely forgot that we're supposed to be doing Wonder Goals. That could have gone so badly. Defoe moves forward. He's made some space for himself. Oh, my God, he's rattled the post. Bicey! Oh my... It's a pen! We actually won a pen trying to do a Bicey! <laughs> I can't believe this. I thought this was a surefire... Oh. Wait. Is it a pen? It's not a pen. I fouled them. <sighs> oh, goodness, no. No, 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 no. Good defending. Oh, bad defending. Good defending? Bad defending. Average defending. <sighs> Should have been a goal. Should have been a goal. Embleton's through. I'm looking for a big game from him, the youngster. He's just been muscled off the ball. He should have probably had a bit of a shot earlier, to be honest. We're just not scoring anything. Ideally, I want to get closer to the box, but if we can't... Oh, it's really well worked. That was that was really well worked, actually. That was quite nice. I think Ebbleton got a bit unlucky there, if I'm honest. <laughs> Outside the box. Laid it off nice. Little first time. Beauty. Right, Defoe. Big moment here. Big moment. He's there. No one else. He can't make it, though. Defenders all around him. Oh, no. Everyone's disappeared. It's a poor shot in the end, really. They should be one a lot. We need Kikana on the ball more. On the ball more. Oh! First half, 0 0. Not bad, to be honest. Not bad at all. I think I am going to make an early change. Gooch played a lot of the last game. We'll give him a bit of a rest. We'll take. We'll put O'Brien on. Just a bit. Two changes at half time. It's, it's bold. It's bold. I'll give you that. We're being a bit penned in here. Now, I. I'm really trying to think what I can do regarding transfers. Oh, hello. Kakana's through. Take a touch out. He's going for the long range. Oh, he's off target. I've been really trying to think what we can do regarding transfers, what positions we need the most. And we've got a lot of centre mids, but they're re I just really don't think they're good enough. And it's a really important position, especially for the formation that I'm playing. Now... Maybe I should change formation, and this is something I have been considering. I've been thinking maybe go to a 4-4-2. It's not the most exciting, but it might, for what we're trying to do, it might be better spatially. Oh, beautiful Kakano. Wonderful pass. Embleton's got... Ah, oh, no pace. Henry was just there. No, don't concede late. Don't concede late. Okay, good. Brentford have not been good. As much as we haven't really given them much to think about, they haven't they haven't done anything themselves. We're going to take Defoe off because he is our main striker. Oh, that's the thing, we've got loads of midfielders, so I'm kind of thinking we put the money we have into another striker. I, re I don't really want to do it. Oh, mate, you are not good enough to do a bicycle kick. Uh, I'm thinking the closer we get to deadline day, which is approaching, the more we just pay that 1.8 million release clause. And that player, he's not great, but he's got good physicals. His long shots and shot power are amazing. And he might just... How have they not scored? Oh my good God. That, is that allowed? Is that legal? No pass backs? All right. Oh, unnecessary flick there. Go on, Kakana. We found him. Can he get the delivery? It's there. Um. 
Uh, it's off the knee. It came off his knee. Now it's not... Mm, again, it's not the best goal I've ever seen. And would you say it's a wonder goal? Maybe. Maybe. But you know what? I think we need to take anything we can get. Uh... <laughs> what is this series? For goodness sake. Ref. Oh, we, we could actually have a go for a free kick here. Now, I've not scored a free kick yet in FIFA 21. I've not had that many free kicks, to be honest. All right, here we go. All right, the game's freaking out. It's not letting me change player, which is a bit annoying. I don't really want power to take it. But you know what? We're going to put it there. It was on target, you know? I didn't really know what to expect. I'm still getting used to the free kicks. But fair enough. If we come out of this with a win, that is just so undeserved. But that's the beauty of English football, isn't it? You get wonder goals with little knee jabs. Never a foul, ref. A good block. <laughs> Wait for them to score. I wouldn't even be angry. No way is that yellow. Leave the poor young lad alone. Full time, 1-0 to the Sunderland. Uh, yeah, absolute wonder goal in a, a flying a flying knee strike. That is what you came here to see. Embleton with the goal. We're not we're not gonna we're not gonna deal with the press. <laughs> There's no need. There's no need. We've got an offer for George Dobson. Now this is interesting. He's actually quite it, like. I don't, I'm not getting on with him that well. Can I look at his, um... Right, I'm not getting on with Dobson particularly well, right? However, if we can... However, he is fairly good, but he's not even first choice. And if we can get a good amount of money for the kid, we might actually be able to uh, replace him by someone even better. His long shots, you know what? I'm going to put... We're going to try and work... We're going to try and make this work, guys. We're going to try and make this work. I mean, we literally dragged him off at half-time in that game because I didn't like the way he was playing and he was on a booking. Yeah, someone's come in. Everyone's everyone's looking to Salty Creamer. I'm going to be really cheeky here. I'm going to ask for 2 million. They've come straight back in at 1.4. All right, we'll go to 1.8 million. I mean, the game said we could probably get 1.7. Let's just try again. 1.7. Come on, dude. Come on. You know you want him. Yes! This money could be huge for us. We could outright buy a much better player. 1.7 million for Dobson? How much money do we have in the bank right now? 2.3. So let's say, I don't, I'm not sure what, we'll maybe get like 1.2? If we get 3.5 million, we could actually start working wonders. All right, so we're getting into our second game of the episode, uh, our first league game of the episode. Um, just thought I'd let you know, Scout report came in on Jude Bellingham. He's a bit too expensive. Bit too expensive. If we had a little, if we had a few more million, yes, it, 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 would, it would be, it would be on. And you know we'd love to come to Sunderland. Unfortunately, don't quite have the funds. His release clause is seven mil, which seems extremely low considering he's just been bought in real life for what was it, thirty to thirty to forty. Anyway, this is FIFA at the end of the day. You've got to take everything with a pinch of salt. We had a rare win. We haven't won in quite a while, it feels like. So it was good to get that under our belts. Can we keep up the momentum? As Portsmouth come forward and we get it away nicely. We play it. Wasn't a good ball out left by Defoe. Defoe. I'm looking forward to that money coming in from Dobson. He's not, I don't rate him particularly well. And we, if I'm, I'm thinking about it, we could then get another centre back in. Clarkson can fill in in the centre mid. We could change him there permanently. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? I've forgotten the rules of this game. Oh, it's a terrible shot in the end. In the end, it was a decent work. It was a well-worked kind of move. Just didn't really come off. Good block by Hume. Can he? Yes, he prevents the corner as well. Fantastic from the man. He is someone we will definitely not be letting go. Come on, Defoe. What can you do? Show the world. Show the Sunderland fans how much you care. Ref. Referee. I'm sorry. I'm not having that. I was pulled to the ground. 
Atrocious bit of uh, officiating going on there. Looks for that through ball. He's found it. Lyndon Gooch. Well done, lad. Nice cutting. Nice cutting. Bit of trickery. Bit of trickery. Love that. Oh, he's gone a bit close. <sighs> it, it never looked like it was going to work. I just don't have much faith in these fellas. I want, I want some of my own blood. And I know I've brought in Defoe, but he was never my top choice. It was a... I'll be honest with you guys. That was the definition of a panic buy. Oh, they're coming forward. They're, making, they're pulling some nice moves together. Come on, don't concede. I mean, you can look at it like this. What, we've gone two, we've gone two and almost a half games without conceding. Oh, okay. Well, um, I guess I deserve that. What even happened? Just no one collects that. Oh, that was number four. That was Willis just standing off of his man. Just kind of ball watching there. Oh, one nil down right before half time. Nightmare scenario. End of the first half. One nil down. We've been here before. The difference is, can we turn it around this time? Oh, it's a good save. Jeez, our midfield just absolutely disappeared there. They won the ball back off us. They all drove forward at the defence and our midfield all just stayed stationary. Oh, come on, it's slow. Oh, what an amazing ball. We've won that. Get up, get up, get up. Yes. Oh, we went for the spectacular McGeady there. Love that from him. He, keeper would have taken a big boot to the stomach. This is much better from Sunderland. Much better. All right, that's to no one. But Oh, Gooch. Mate. You, Gooch, ruined that move. I mean, it was a horrendous touch by O'Neill, but even so, he should never have been involved. Never have been involved. Oh, for God's sake. We can't take another loss. We can't. I really think we need to change this formation. Now, I'm not going to do anything for this game. We, we're bringing on Leadbitter, Power, and Wyke. Three subs that we would normally use. Now, but I do think I need to change the formation. There's just... This just isn't working. Oh my god. Oh my god, Defoe, don't fuck this up. Ah! Defoe's been shot. He only ever wants to play in for his for the cup games, and I don't understand it, mate. Lead bitter! Oh, Kakana, lovely turn. Lovely turn. Keep it going. Keep it going, son. Lay that No, what? We are running out of time drastically here. Lay that off. Oh, it's nice. It's actually fizzed in for once. Way better. White needs a start. Defoe, like he's, Defoe's part layoffs and little passes are absolutely disgusting. Not bad, Kakana. He's had another effort. We get shots on target. We're just not beating the keeper. Oh, White. Go on, lad. You deserve this. Oh, it's really close. Really close. Now, that's full time. Um, now, some of you might be saying, do you regret buying Jermaine Defoe? Now, the answer to that question is yes. All right. So, uh, Dobson has been sold and I was almost right. We got 1.3 million. So, actually better than I predicted. And uh, Gooch is out for up to five days. So, that's, that's really not a problem. Um... We've got our money just in time for the transfer window. We've got three points. You know what? We're, we're not going to be giving players much wages. I'm going to trickle that down. Let's give ourselves four million. Now things are interesting. Let's move over to deadline day. Now, guys, I'm probably not going to do a third game now that I'm thinking about it. We're probably just going to finish with deadline day. We're going to try and make some signings. We're just going to see what happens. I hope we get someone in. There's this guy. Now, Juston. We could now probably buy him quite comfortably. 1.85. He can hit a ball, and that is very, very important. He's only 24. He's going to grow. It could be worth it. It could be worth it. 1.85. We just need to see what other moves we can make. 
Oh, actually, there's this kid as well we could now sign. We could bring in a Mexican. Good shot power, good long shots. Have an extra person on that left-hand side. Something a bit about them. Again, we could put in a hefty old bid for this dude. We do want a midfielder. We do want a midfielder. I don't believe it. I put in a... Oh, I recently did another loan to buy for this kid. Are you joking? I think we could probably buy him now. I'm going to be gutted if we can't even put in a bid. I've actually got a lot of people down here. These are like a lot of young players. That, although a lot of these players wouldn't even want to move. Because I think they're newly added to the game. Ah, oh, now there is this kid. Now, um, I just know that he is. He's rated about 60. But he's I think he's got like 85 potential. And we can get him for under a million. I actually think this is quite a good idea. Montenegro, our youth centre back. I'm, I'm retraining him as a CDM. Because I looked at his stats and... I think to give him a little boost in attributes, I feel like that is the most sensible thing to do. To get his overall rating higher. I just think that's what he needs. I think he's slightly, I think he's actually more suited. So as he's becoming a CDM, we br could bring in this guy. I mean, as long, he's a centre back. He's probably not going to be hitting long shots anyway. These, just for a centre back, a cheap centre back could be good. Sebastian Esposito. Ah, uh, there's no chance we get, is there? Okay, so I just had a one point six million bid for Yusuf Demir from Rapid Vienna. He's Austrian. He's only 17. He just could have a bit about him. A very attacking player. Not great long shots, which is sort of obviously what we need, but he's certainly an option. He is certainly an option. He's just a bit more technical and we don't really have any technical players. He might just be able to like keep the ball with his actual ability. All right, again, I've just had an £800,000 bid. Again, 17, huge potential. It just He's really low rated, but that is so cheap. And if we can get him growing quite quickly, he could just be a big asset. Like, he's a big man. Right, if we combine these two, 1.6 and 800, that is 2.4. So we, we've spent, let's say we've spent 2.4. What's his wage currently? We don't know. We don't know his wage. Hmm interesting this is actually a pre this is actually a pretty exciting deadline day um stuff looks like it's gonna happen whether they agree to sign or not i don't know let's have a crack at esposito we've also had an offer we've also had an offer accepted for esposito um again if you don't know him he becomes fantastic in the game it says two million but that's two million plus john flanagan <laughs> I'm not 100% sold on him, if I'm completely honest with you. Even though he grows, I'm just not convinced he is ready yet. I think if we're going to get a striker in, another striker, we need someone better. What's his strength? He's weak. Ugh. Ugh. Then again, I just looked at 86 potential. Now, Junston, where is he? So it's for, it's for a lot less money. They're similar rating. Of course, he is six years older. He's only got 71 potential, but he's actually very weak as well. I'm not liking that weakness, but it's shot power. It's so good. <clears throat> he's also really good at free kicks. However, one thing I am concerned about is a really, apart from Demir, we don't have any midfielders. I know I'm not looking, I know we're, these are all like wonder kids, but we need some We need some players for the future. We just do. Um, we need to be able to grow some players. This guy doesn't want to move. Uh, this guy doesn't want to move. This guy probably would if we actually, if I hadn't put in that loan bid. Oh, wait, can we not? Maybe I can loan these boys. Hmm. God Damn it, I want this kid so badly. I, I shortlisted Tarek Lamptey. I don't know, I don't really know why. I shortlisted a lot of people that... Could we loan Bellingham? No. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm going to put in a bid for this guy. I'm just going to see if he gets accepted because his long shots are pretty good. We came in 200 grand under his market value. They just added on a percentage. We'll accept that. Now, in my opinion, these four and Juston are the best options. These four have extraordinary potential. He's 6'1", too. How tall is Juston? 5'10". These four have unreal potentials, like mid-80s. Juston has a potential of, like, 71. However, if he can get us promoted, that's sort of all we need. And we've got 4 million. Now, of course, wage is going to come into it. 2 million, 2 million, 1.6... I think we can buy three. Okay, so I don't think we buy Castaneda. I'm sort of thinking we get Demir, we get 
Airbnb. B. Actually, I'll tell you what, I'm going to let the days go on a little bit. I'm going to try and let a few days pass, see if we get any more offers, or see if the uh, if that centre mid becomes available. All right, we should probably address these. Uh, for goodness sake, let's see what kind of contract this fella wants. He's by far the cheapest. He's by far the worst. We'll, we'll sign him on rotation, and he's happy with that. Good. No release clause. Shit, I don't know what to offer him. Uh... Three? He's happy with three. Probably could have offered him less, to be honest. I just panicked a bit. Now, I think we then go for the second cheapest, which is Demir. I think just another player with a bit of... Well, a player with some agility and some balance, I feel could be really important. I'm going to give him an important role. We can get him down for five years. Oh, he wants the five years. Let's go. No release clause. <sighs> Salary for this kid. Salary for this kid. I mean, Jenna, I'm going to offer him four again. I don't want these players turning around and walking away from me. He's reasonable. He's accepted. Good. He's one of the highest earners. But let's hope he lives up to that. So we're not going to get Castaneda. Is it Esposito? Is it Justin? What is that centre mid back yet? Or is he still? They're still unavailable. That's a bit of a shame. All right. Now I'm thinking we've just signed two young players for the future. Now 6-1 is so big. But now I think we should sign this man. He comes with four star skills, three star weak foot. He's absolutely rapid. He's not very strong, but he is only like he does. He will grow not by much, but he will grow and he can hit a ball. So I actually think we buy out his release clause. This is what I'm thinking we do. All right. I'll see you in the I'll see you in the room for ne some negotiations. And there it is. We have signed Justin on a three for a four year deal for three and a half thousand pounds. Let's take a look at him. Whoo! He is now a Sunderland player. He's got the number 29. We're okay with that. Now, there he is in the Sunderland colours. We've All we can do is hope for great things. And we'll put... You know what? Because he's only 24, we will put him on a development plan. Now, I'm going to have him specialise as a target man. Uh, increase his jumping and strength a bit. As well as his finishing and his passing. I think that's a good... Uh, See, that's it's really bad attack positioning, I've just noticed. We could do complete striker, but there's like four attributes there that aren't going to improve. And uh, yeah, I just think this is the way to go. All right, so we've made three signings, but we will finish deadline day. Uh, we won't mess around with the team just yet. Let's get to the end of deadline day. Let's see if we can ship anyone else out of the team. Oh, we've got an offer for Flanagan. 740. They've accepted. That's fine. I think I think that's very fair. Now, the transfer probably won't go through today, um, but it will go through in January if all the paperwork goes through on his end. Seven emails. And we've got a monthly report. Um, oh, they broke down. Okay, probably because the window closed. Fair enough. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you like the players we brought in. Oh, I'm really looking forward to this next game against Stevenage, and I will see you guys next time. Cheers. Tommy, 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 Tommy,